بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل آن کور پی ایچ پی اینڈ مائی ایس کیو ایل دس از علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ لٹل بٹ آف ڈیش بورڈ الانگ ود دا سائڈ پینل بٹ بفور اسٹارٹنگ ود دا ڈیش بورڈ لیٹ می فرسٹ ری کال سم آف دا پریویس اسٹور پروسیجرس دیٹ آئی ہیونٹ ڈیمانسٹریٹڈ یو بائی کریٹنگ ڈائریکٹلی ان ٹو دی ویڈیو سو آئی ڈسائڈ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ آلسو سو لیٹ سی دیٹ یو کین سی ہیئر دیز آل آر دا اسٹور فور اسٹور پروسیجرس دیٹ آئی ہیو آلریڈی کریٹڈ فار یو گائز اینڈ یو یو ہیو یو مائی ہیو سین ان دا پریویس لیکچر اباؤٹ دا اسٹور پروسیجرس دیٹ آئی ہیو کریٹڈ ود یو پیپل آئی ہیو اونلی کریٹڈ ون اسٹور پروسیجر دیٹ واز user uh, insert users okay so similarly insert roles update roles delete roles get roles these all are the stored procedures that i have also created and if you don't know how to create those that's why i am letting you know these stored procedures okay now let's continue to the application and uh, s- uh, let's study how can we add a dashboard type of thing inside our web application let's let's start all right guys so the first of first of all what i can do i can create a new and uh, let's create an html page uh, that belongs to or no uh, let's create a php page uh, that belongs to html5 and create page successfully created now let's save this the name should be admin dashboard and my directories is already created here save it now guys to save time I have decided to give you a link that is this one I'll give you this link or I have written this link in the description of this video so you can take uh, you can click on this link and come on this page and and click on the download button here and then download your this uh, simple sidebar master file okay uh, why I have done this I'll show you now uh, let's copy this and go to the a uh, directory that uh, we have created inside zamp and stdocs and inventory portal and paste it here let's open this bar and see what are the folders yes so it has only one folder in it let's right click and extract here that folder is added now remove this zip file here uh, from here and now let's go inside this you can see there are so many things here inside this particular uh, directory let's go to the css and see there is one css simple sidebar let's copy this css and go back to our styles folder and come here and paste it okay i have done that now let's go back to the uh, pages let's go to the vendor and you can see here we have bootstrap the bootstrap css and the jquery and the simple jquery okay what we know that we have already added the bootstrap and the jquery within our projects okay so i'm not going to copy those bootstraps uh, and let's see what else we have uh, we have this page index dot uh, html so let's first open this page and see what this bar is all about you can see this is the thing that i wanted to implement inside my web application so that's my index.cs uh, index.html let's open this page here so open and styles so this is the page guys what i can do now i simply copy this all the document text and you can see at the at this point uh, on the top of the of this page bootstrap is applied simple sidebar is there jquery is there and bootstrap bundle.min is there so i have to call these things uh, within my um, within my application also so let's copy this all and come here in admin db.php select all and remove this and control v i have just copied and pasted that code here inside my php page okay now what we we have to do we have to update the links we have to update the links so first of all bootstrap dot min dot css let's update it to our bootstrap dot min dot css browse and let's go back go to the styles and bootstrap dot min dot css that was the file and select 
so that's my directory link so you have to update your link simple is that now simple sidebar so let's do that also browse and simple sidebar and this CSS is also attached so two things anything else at the top no title title should be removed here you can write here dashboard let's say save and uh, let's go back go downwards and see do we have a scripts yes we have a scripts also so scripts are written here so jquery.min.cs sorry js so let's apply jquery.min so browse and select our jquery inside the scripts folder that is this one i have this jquery right and bootstrap.bundle.min do we have bootstrap.bundle.min let's check it so browse and yes we have inside the sorry, uh, bundle dot min js javascript i hope it is clear to everyone so i have applied these things also and the rest of the code i am not going into detail just i have copied and pasted and i have updated the links that's it okay now i wanted to check whether this works for me or not i am closing this index.html because i don't need this uh, at all now close this Okay, let's execute this page. That's my admin DB dashboard. So you can see guys, everything is working in a perfect manner. Okay, that's the first step that we have done in order to create our sidebar along with the dashboard. So it's time saving. So kindly go through this link that I have pasted in the description and apply this as a dashboard template uh, for your uh, website. Now the next step is you can change these things, you can change the internals of this uh, just like we have a dashboard like of type of stuff. Okay, so let's go inside this and let's remove what we have to do first. We have to spec we have to change this internal code, right? So simple sidebar. Let's remove this uh, container fluid. It should be um, it should be at this point uh, remove okay so container fluid that's done let's go back and refresh the page you can see now its internal is clear now toggle menu you can write here um, anything or open close whatever you can write here okay any name dashboard uh, now that, that's my menu so here what I wanted to do first of all I have created two two tables inside my database uh, that was roles and the users so I should create here roles and the users in the uh, menu. So what can I write here? Short instead of uh, let's go back to the sidebar here. So I wanted to replace dashboard with respect to the sorry shortcut with respect to the roles. So shortcut with respect to the roles management. Then we have the users management and then we have suppliers this is the future work that we will do okay and then we have um, products then we have stock let's say and so on so keep till this point now refresh you can see things are getting in shape okay here you can specify your um, uh, website name let's say uh, start bootstrap is the heading here so let's specify here let's say a cube and for superscript I'm specifying three something like this and then IT solutions let's say save and come here and refresh got it so this is how you can do your stuff Okay, so hopefully you have understood how to create a dashboard like uh, view for your uh, application. Now, uh, in the next lecture, we will see uh, the further things with respect to this uh, project. We will uh, join everything together, we will combine, we will authenticate our data, we will create here some other things uh, like uh, data insertion, updation, deletion and all the stuff with respect to the PHP. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Hope you have learned this thing. Uh, thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.